All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. We're back with more Sonic Adventure DX. Select your character. We completed Sonic's story. So today we'll be picking up Tails' story. Here I come, Sonic! Everything's working great! All systems go full speed ahead! What's this? No! Ah! I'm out of control! Mayday! Mayday! Going down! Ah! Look out below! Boy, you're lucky I saw you come down. So what went wrong anyway? It's not like you to crash like that. Yeah, it's just that I'm testing a new prototype power supply, and it's not fully compatible yet. You can always borrow my plane, the Tornado, if you want. Thanks, Sonic. But if I can make this work, it'll run circles around yours. Check out this power supply! It's a Chaos Emerald! No way! I was lucky to find one of the seven Chaos Emeralds. They have unlimited mystic powers. Now I want to harness that power to fly my plane. Let's go to my workshop in the Mystic Ruins and I'll show you what I've been working on. We'll go to the station, hop on a train, and get there in no time. Okay, so we can finally control Tails ourselves. Remember, during Sonic's playthrough, I mentioned that every every one of the six characters have the same storyline that they're, they're going through. They just start at different points. Tails' story starts very slightly before Sonic's does. If you remember, Sonic actually plays through the beach level. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Tails, when I can, when Tails begins, it's actually right before he begins to crash in Sonic's story. It's just before. Now we head over to the Mystic Ruins to head to Tails' workshop just like we did in Sonic's playthrough. If you remember, the workshop is up this platform. But before we get there... Well, well, well. If it isn't Sonic and Tails... It's Eggman! Silence! I am Dr. Robotnik, the most cunning scientific genius in the world! Yeah, right, Dr. Eggman. Enough! I've been working on a master plan, but now it's time to put it to work! That usually means trouble coming from you! Don't even try to interfere this time. Give me that Chaos Emerald, or else... Or else what, huh? Or else I'll take it from you the hard way. Alright, so our first boss fight, our first part that we actually played through even, is against the Egg Hornet, which is the second part you played through with Sonic. So remember I told you that this game uses what's called Rashomon storytelling, or the fact that the narrator is unreliable when telling you the story to change 
different things. And it's most noticeable when you play through Tails compared to any other character because Tails is Tails is in this game he's the most scared of everything. He's 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 growing up, he's very young. Compared to Sonic, who's really adventurous. So the cutscene that we saw before the boss battle is actually a lot different between Tails and Sonic. I think it's really cool. Again, remember, the narrator is unreliable. You can't trust the narrator. They're taking different things into perspective. So, for example, Robotnik here, Eggman, was a lot more menacing here than he was in Sonic's playthrough. I saw the other day. Uh, monster? Yes, yes, yes. It's really happening. Just as the stone tablet said it would. <laughs> Hear this, Sonic. Chaos's strength increases every time I give him a Chaos Emerald. All he needs is seven emeralds to become invincible. Then he will turn Station Square into rubble, upon which I will build the ultimate city, Robotnik Land. <laughs> you ready, Chaos? Let's go find the next one. Come on. Thank goodness they're gone. Good written. We can't let that monster get any bigger. It could get ugly. You're right. Chaos must be stopped. And he can be if we keep him away from more emeralds, right? So what do you say, Sonic? Let's find the Chaos Emeralds before Eggman does. All right, as I said, it's noticeably different. Noticeably different when you control Tails as opposed to controlling Sonic. Uh, now, unreliable narrator. That's actually one of my favorite narrative narrative tools it doesn't mean that the narrator is lying at most it just i'm sorry at least it just means that they remember things differently uh like i said you can see that in how menacing robotnik is you can also see that in how each player i'm sorry each character remembers who saved the day for example tails remembers that he's he beat that boss battle while sonic remembers that he beat that boss battle you should be able to find a shortcut if you fly. All right. Try and find it. And now we get down to the basicness hey, hey, hey. of Tails' levels. Pretty much, Tails is trying to prove See that later, he can save the day, that he that he can help out, and he does that by hey, proving hey, hey. that he is just as fast as Sonic, or even faster. Hey. So he plays through all pretty much the same levels as Sonic. But he wants to get there first. He wants to. He wants to prove that he he can beat it. Again, unreliable narrator. The same story is happening. But Sonic remembers that he saves the day, while Tails remembers that he beat Sonic into to saving the day. They're on the same team. They're, they're working together. It's just Tails remembers that you know he did a little bit more than he actually did. Let's see if I can do this without dying or breaking the game. Hey hey hey! I don't know which way I'm going. I think I might be going this way. That makes the most sense. Uh oh, we're losing. We're losing this race. There we go. Okay. So we were going this way, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we might lose this race. <laughs> Come on, Tails. Okay, so again, I want to beat Sonic. Sonic is stuck to the ground while I have the ability to fly. So if I want, if I if I can figure out where to go, I can fly. These green things also help me fly a little bit. Oops. Oops. <laughs> when used right, the green rings help me to fly a little bit faster. 
So let's see. We got to beat Sonic. Let's stay on the let's stay on the ground up until here, and then we got it. Then we're good. All right. Let's see. I've never had trouble on this part before. Is this? This is it. Okay, there we go. That's where I'm trying to go. You made it. You can tell who's in the lead in the race between Sonic and I at the bottom of the screen. Who, whoever's head is closer to the right is the one that's closer to the finish. And then in the event that we're neck and neck, uh, whoever's head shows up in front of the other one. Uh, that's the one that's that's in the lead. Come on, Tails. Let's move. Let's move. Now, one thing that's noticeable about Tails' levels is that they don't go through the entire level that Sonic does. It's very noticeable in the next part. I think this is it. Normally, in the Sonic playthrough, you go through... What is it? Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. We got to beat Sonic. You're right at the end. There we go. Normally, in this level, you go through a tornado. There, there's actually three parts for Sonic. There's the first level. There's the first part of the level, the tornado, and then the second part, which is what we just did. I'm sorry, the third part, which that we just did. Too bad. For Tails, you just go through that third part. 